Tomorrow is the 4th of July, a time for barbecues, fireworks, and celebrations. Unfortunately, those, those celebrations can get out of hand when someone leaves the party and gets behind the wheel of a car. Joining me today to discuss the impact impaired driving can have is Larry Coggins, Jr., Executive Director of Mothers Against Drunk Driving, along with Keith Ligori from Ligori and Sanders. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. This is a fun time of the year. Obviously, a lot of parties going on, but, but rewind a little bit and talk about why this is a passion of yours to really make sure to get this message out and why you partnered with Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Well, when I was a prosecutor, I used to see firsthand how a lot of DUIs would impact people's lives and, and from DUI manslaughter, from those DUIs with injuries. And it, it really is tragic and it's really a preventable crime that could stop. And so when I was in, at a state attorney's office, I really got involved. I got to know the executive director of Mothers Against Drunk Driving at the time and also the, the victim advocate, Becky Gage, and I got to really get to know them. And I started helping them attending uh, DUI roadblocks. And then we also, uh, I, when I got and left the state attorney, one of my own practice, I started sponsoring their events and trying to help them out yeah. financially with causes and, and try to help the law enforcement officers at DUI roadblocks and then helping the walks. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. got involved in the walks. So it was really anything to help. Mm -hmm the community and to help this great organization and to save lives yeah. and, and to prevent and it's, people from Again, it's hurt. preventable. And, and how do we do that, Larry? Because it is, people know that you shouldn't be behind, right? No one's surprised by, oh, wait, I didn't know. How do we change people's decisions when it comes to that time when they're trying to decide, okay, am I okay to drive? Right, and you know, but people need to remember, this is an extremely violent crime and it's 100% preventable. Um, the problem with this, and, and going back to my 25 years in law enforcement, the problem with this is everybody leaves the house for the party or the bar or what have you, and they know right from wrong. Mm -hmm. Nobody ever intends to do yeah. this. The problem is, is that when alcohol or drugs are on board, your judgment is impaired, mm -hmm. and that goes out the window. And one of the first things you forget is the promise you made to yourself or just the knowledge that I will not drink and drive, and unfortunately it happens. Let's talk about Hillsborough County. Before we got started, me and him both were shocked. This is a, for people listening and watching today, I think they need to realize our county alone, Hillsborough County, yes. number one in the state? Hillsborough County is number one in the state when it comes to alcohol and, and, and drug impaired uh, vehicle crashes with injuries and deaths. It has always been that way, and unfortunately, it continues the trend. Your biggest question we were talking about. Yeah, but was why? why? Exactly, why? You know, there's no one thing you can put your finger on. Um, we have the population, we have the tourists, we have the visitors. Uh, our, our roads are not as congested as our mm -hmm. neighbors to the south in Dade, Broward, and Palm Beach, uh, which traditionally, you know, is number one in everything else. Um, there's no one thing you can put on it. And it is certainly not for a lack of trying with our law enforcement community and the fantastic job they yeah. do with prevention and enforcement. So what is your message for families today, and whether it be parents talking with their kids as well? I mean, what is it that people really need to take heart and follow? They need to understand that this is preventable, like we've said. They need to make a plan, whether it's a designated driver, call a parent, mm -hmm. call a friend, ride share, don't care what it is, just don't get behind the wheel. It is 2018, there are too many things that are available mm -hmm. to, to prevent yeah. getting behind the wheel. And the other thing is, is they need to remember, you know, don't ever think this won't happen to me, because by God it will. I know. We were talking to let you have the last word too, or just about the impact. You mm -hmm. know, that it has on every single aspect of everyone involved in some kind of crash mm -hmm. or accident. You, you see the, the defendant, they are looking at having to spend a lot of money to hire a lawyer. They're looking at jail time. Sometimes if it's a death involved, they're looking at some serious prison time. Um, and, and then you see the victim's lives are just destroyed and they, they'll never be the same because of the injuries they sustain. No matter what, what we can do to help them, mm -hmm. they are still in a, in a, in a desperate struggle every day mm -hmm. and dealing with dealing with pain and dealing yeah. with those repercussions. Um, and how uh, frustrating to know that it's preventable. It's right. so easy preventable, especially yeah. with ride sharing this day and age. It's yeah. the cheapest method to, to save lives yeah. and, and to save from and prevent DUIs. Well, we've been showing both of your websites. Gentlemen, thank you for all that you do to, to continue to get this message out. Uh, we appreciate your time and uh, we hopefully look forward to having you back so we can Absolutely. continue to spread uh, the message as well. Exactly. Thank you. Needs to be done. Thank you.